Postal workers in Chicago reportedly threatening to stop delivering the mail in certain neighborhoods after multiple employees had been shot on the job. Meanwhile, another weekend of violence there. Some 38 people shot, six of them killed, a teenager among them. And the city of Rochester, New York, already is reeling from the police killing of an unarmed black man, now facing the trauma of a mass shooting at a backyard house party. Garrett Tenney has now more from Chicago. Those mail delivery people are not joking around about this. They will walk. No, here's at least two of them have been caught in the crossfire of what's likely gang violence so far this year. The latest was earlier this month when a 24-year-old woman was shot multiple times while delivering mail in the middle of the day on the city's south side. Police say that she was not the target of that shooting that left her with gunshot wounds in her legs, her stomach, and the back of her head. Postal workers are now demanding the city do more to protect them on their routes, and Chicago's chapter of the National Association of Letter Carriers is telling its members to stop delivering mail in areas where they feel unsafe. We want to deliver the mail, but if we cannot be safe, they are not to deliver that mail. If it means customers having to come pick up their mail, then so be it. We may do rain and sleet and pandemics, but we're not doing bullets.